please give a brief summary of the plot of the film? Okay, so the, the, the film as I see it <laughs> is about this kind of like shady, misanthropic guy that kind of hates people and for some reason is like leading tours in New Orleans. He gets stuck in this haunted mansion uh, with a bunch of people that he would never have hung out with under any other circumstances and only by becoming friends with these people and working with these people is he able to unlock the secrets of the mansion and make his way out. And I think that that is so powerful because, you know, very few of us get to choose <laughs> the people and the circumstances that we are surrounded by. Uh, and, and very few of us can get through life without experiencing some kind of loss, some kind of grief, something that makes us a little shady, a little more sarcastic than maybe we normally are. Uh, and this movie says, yeah, all of that's true. And you can laugh through it and you can get through it. Talk about your experiences with the theme park attraction prior to doing the film. So I had a lot of encounters with the theme park attraction, weirdly enough. I, when I was nine, uh, my mom saved up, took us to Disney World. It was one of the first rides we rode. Uh, she was absolutely terrified and put the fear of God in me the entire time we were at Disney World. And I'll never forget like coming out of the ride and really, really wondering, is that hitchhiking ghost still hanging out with me uh, as I make my way through this theme park. Uh, and as I got older, I, I, I slowly started to realize maybe it's all just a trick, but I never forgot like the magic of that question. Of, of real, like That's the thing about Disneyland and Disney World that's so powerful is like, it really makes you question reality. It really believably takes you to a fantasy place, and that was a touchstone for this movie for me. Uh, uh, and as I, as I got older, I, I ended up working at Disneyland. I, um, you know, I, I went to film school at a school called Chapman University in Orange County, and Anaheim is where Disneyland is and I was so struck by the similar laugh on page one, then I laugh again, then I start to get sad, and all of a sudden it's 3 a.m., <laughs> and I've completed the script, and I have laughed, and I have cried, and I've woken my husband up, and it's, it's a problem, but I was like, I know how to do this. I know how to do, this is an ensemble comedy, but it's about something. My first movie is an ensemble comedy, but it's about something. But then it has all of these like campy horror genre flourishes. That's me too, that's my second movie, Bad Hair. I grew up watching these kinds of movies and I love these kinds of movies. I love a, a, a good family movie to this day um, that is really truly made for every member of the family, the kids and the adults and the teenagers, everybody in between. I love those movies. Um, and so for me, it was just like, I can see myself doing this. I don't know if anybody else can. Uh, that plus the fact that my family is from Louisiana. So I, I have a familiarity with the culture of New Orleans, which is where the mansion is set. And I felt like that's something I can bring to the table because if you really tell the truth about this place and uh, this wonderful setting and all of the cultures that mix and combine here, I just really felt like you would tell an even more authentic story about the mansion. And, and that's what I pitched and they said yes. I just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> Briefly describe the characters you portrayed in the film and effect you have on each other. So I play Madame Leota, who is the, if you've been on the attraction, she's the woman trapped in the crystal ball at the beginning who says, welcome foolish mortals into this ghost realm. And um, she's been trapped in there for a very long time and she is released from it by this young medium who is what I would refer to as a Star Wars, since Disney owns Star Wars, a, a Star Wars connect the dot, Padawan learner, uh, young Harriet, who is a medium. Yes, and my character is learning how to tap into her powers. Uh, she's been playing a role of, yes, I can do this, and she does have some powers, and she's very like boisterous about it, but she's not confident in it until she is guided by the great Madame Leota, who's someone she's looked up to for her whole life. And when she loves the couture kind of fashion-y stuff. 
And I just love that they bond together in mm -hmm. this beautiful way of sisterhood. Mm -hmm. Talk about your experiences with the theme park attraction prior to doing the film. Well, I'm the old person. I'm older than everybody. <clears throat> and I've clearly been to that park 40 times. I've been on this attraction at least 40 times um, over many, many, many um, decades. And there's something magical about Disney. There's magic uh, in the attractions. There's magic in the cast members. The world outside of Disneyland is hard. It, everybody works hard. It's a, it's a, it's a, a tough life for most people and what Walt Disney created this magical place for people to like forget their woes and walk into this magic kingdom um, really still holds as it did back then it holds today yeah and for me I mean I just remember always wanting to get on the the Haunted Mansion attraction because it was where there was the most air conditioning, also where you get to see the most magic. I always wonder, like, how did they get that lady's head in there? Mm -hmm. Is that a TV in there? Is they are they really using holograms? Like, how do they get these things to float around like this? Like, what are they doing? It must be magic. Oh, I wonder, does Disney know God and they just do this stuff together? I don't know. Like, I, my imagination is off the chain, when, especially when I was a kid, because uh, I didn't understand how they was mm -hmm. able to do this. Mm -hmm. and and at first I thought it maybe it was real ghost mm -hmm. in there. And you know, now I'm a little older. I don't necessarily believe in ghosts and all of that. I do believe in demons though. And they make me eat candy and I don't want to. But they make me. I don't want to. Anyways, I love that ride. That awesome. What attracted each of you to want to be in this film? I simply was just thrilled to be able to play this iconic part that's been part of this ride uh, for since 1969. I mean, we. I remember being a little kid, seeing her inside that crystal ball. So for me, it was a no-brainer. I was just thrilled, and I got to work with people like Tiffany and and Rosario and Lakeith and Danny and Owen. Justin made this incredible, uh, beautiful sets and costumes. So for me, it was just very easy. And for me, it was I always, always, always wanted to be in something Disney, but to be in Haunted Mansion is even better because that's the ride I always go to. I remember one time I went to Disneyland and the ride was broke down. The, excuse me. The attraction wasn't working that day. I was furious and me and my <laughs> friends was trying to figure out how to break in. We tried. We got in trouble. Lesson learned. Never try to break in to a Disney attraction. If they say it's shut down, it's shut down. You don't want to sit in that office. You do not want to sit in that office. 15, done. Past that though. Right. And I wasn't banned from the place, so I'm glad. Thank Lesson thank learned. <laughs> thank you both, I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Maybe I'll just do a little blessing, a prayer to get us started on the right foot. God, give us a break. We, we don't want to be haunted. It just seems like there's so many bad people in the world. Haunt them. How about an amen at the count of three? One, two, three. Amen. Amen. Are you sure he's a priest? Now, if I can communicate with William Gracie, I suspect he will have the answers that we need. And just to confirm, the only thing available to us is this French vanilla Yankee candle. Yeah, I keep forgetting to cancel my subscription to Amazon, so. Please. Hold hands. Now, I will quiet my mind so that I can communicate with the other side. Please do not interrupt me. Otherwise, I have to start all over again. I play Father Kent, who is a man of the cloth there in New Orleans, and he's a little bit of a salesman where you're not quite sure if everything he's saying is accurate and what exactly his background is. But uh, he kind of helps put together the team that, uh, you know, does battle with these ghosts. My experience with the theme park attraction uh, was zero. Uh, I've never been on uh, the ride, but um, it, it sounds like I'm making it up, but I'm going tonight. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it matches up to, uh, you know, my memory of making the movie. I think it was talking with Justin, the director, and just really kind of enjoying our conversations and um, you know, is kind of 
um, how open he seemed to kind of coming up with stuff. Well, it was great. I think that's going to be one of the pleasures, hopefully, for people seeing the movie as kind of all the, you know, the it's a great cast that Justin put together. And then, you know, for me personally working, you know, getting a chance to kind of uh, work and become friends with Danny DeVito, I really liked. I think it was, you know, what Justin and this is kind of, you know, something that you kind of hope for with a director is that they kind of give you sort of a sense that, uh, you know, that obviously they're steering the ship but that they're sort of supportive of, you know, ideas and open to things that uh, you think might uh, be able to make the scene better or have ideas themselves. And so that's how Justin was. I summon Madame Leota! No! Briefly describe the characters you portray in the film. I love that, briefly. Uh, to briefly describe Gabby, uh, I uh, play a single mother from New York who's a doctor um, and has moved down to Louisiana where her mom was from um, to fulfill her life dream of having a bed and breakfast um, and being able to use that as a means of surrounding her son with different people to help her raise him. And it's haunted. <laughs> she bought the haunt. She bought the mansion sight unseen on Zillow, and there's a warning for that. And um, she ends up getting a, quite a crew of people to kind of help her with it and kind of actually actualize that dream. I play Ben. If I were to briefly describe Ben Matthias, I would say. He is um, an astrophysicist who's been out of work for some time because he's been mourning the loss of his late wife and attempting to put the, together the pieces of his life to find his, feeding, his footing again. And uh, he finds himself uh, introduced to this, this family, Gabby, um, who are on their own journey and uh, ends up joining up with them to go on a larger journey to try to escape from what ends up being a haunted mansion. Um, and so him and all of the different characters gather to get together to um, find a way out, but also find deeper chambers and layers to themselves. What attracted each of you to want to be in this film? So I kind of feel like I manifested this film. I was coming off of some very um, heavy subjects in storytelling. Um, on the last two previous projects and I was like literally calling out going I'd love to do a comedy of some kind something just lighter and then suddenly I get the call for this and I had to say yes because it's Justin Simeon and Lakeith Stanville and it's Tiffany Haddish and Owen Wilson and Danny DeVito and Chase W. Dillon and all of the wonderful people who get to be a part of it and then I suddenly was like be careful what you ask for because these are all comedy greats and now you know it's gonna it's gonna take some effort so it was it was really fun to be challenged but it was just really fun to just be on this ride with all these incredible people who I've been so inspired by for so long and to do it in this dynamic with this young man, Chase, who plays my son, who is absolutely just fearless in his approach to this character and this story and all of the people that we were with, because I can get I can get intimidated, but he's intimidated by zero. Um, and so that just made it really, really fun to play off of someone then it not necessarily be like a romantic interest or any of these other things. It was like probably one of the the greater relationships I've ever had on on camera. And I got to do it with Chase. What attracted me to the role was um, the, the opportunity to work with Disney, the opportunity to uh, work with Justin, um, who, you know, I was a fan of his work, and the opportunity to work with this brilliant, amazing cast um, of all these people, some of which I grew up watching, like Danny DeVito um, and Owen and uh, um, Rosario, and new talent like Chase, uh, who was this a revelation for me to, to come to meet and understand. And the material itself really made me feel 
like it was going to be something that was large and big and special, but also something that was rooted in a heartfelt story that felt intimate and close to things that I had known and that I know other people know. So yeah, all of those things made a perfect cocktail uh, for me to want to join on.